Welcome to the 42 Birds Cork Yoga Mat review. This is the, the Robin Cork Yoga Mat. So I'll walk through the things that I really love about this mat, the things I wish this mat had, and then kind of share some stats that they put on their website. Is it true, is it not? Some of it is really not measurable. And just make sure that when you do read their marketing, not to fall for all the things, because they try to kind of put things about cork and then the things about their mat right next to each other. Their mat isn't entirely made of cork, there's other, other materials as well. So just be mindful of that when you're reading some of their data, as with any other company. But they're on 42birds.com, my referral link is below if you wanna check them out. Cork mat? I don't know, I just found, I got, I got an Instagram ad for this. And you bought it? And I bought it. You would be one of those. <laughs> I would be one of those. <laughs> but it's from 42birds, premium cork yoga mat, non-slip, antimicrobial. Sounds like what I need right now. Quick drying, biodegradable. Is it light? I mean, it's yeah. cork. It's cork. It feels funny. Welcome to the 42 Birds Cork Yoga Mat Review. This is the 42 Birds Cork Yoga Mat right here. They give you a strap, it's made of cloth, I don't know. Um, what I do not like about the strap is it's kind of small. You can't put it over your entire body. You can put it over one shoulder, but when you're walking, right? Okay, now it just fell off. So that's why I really like the over the head strap. Just make sure you're wearing a jacket so the strap is not really tugging too much on your neck. But since this mat is so light, having an over the head strap would have been so convenient to be able to quickly carry this around. <clears throat> but yeah, you can remove the strap just as you can with any other yoga mat, and see what this mat is actually like. They have cork from Portugal on here. It's from what they say on their website, it's a sustainable resource, perfect yoga companion, made from natural materials. Cork is ideal for yogis looking for an eco-friendly, easily maintained mat. Our cork is harvested from cork forests in Portugal, Portugal, where 55% of the world's cork comes from. So as you can see here, this is all cork. Cork, cork. See, so this is cork. Um, this is the top layer. But on the bottom layer, you've got a little bit of ridges. And I think this is like rubberish. So that's the bottom layer. Just note that, that the bottom is not cork. If you look at it sideways, can you see that? A majority of it is rubber, not cork. But that's a good thing, I think, because then, or not a good thing, because if the water seeps through the cork, then the bacteria builds in the rubber at the bottom. But what's really cool is they say that it's 100% antibacterial. So, not 100%. <laughs> so what they say is that it's naturally antibacterial. Not sure what that means exactly, but supposedly, it fights off bacteria. So the, the, what I love about this for hot yoga is a couple reasons. It's very light. I can carry it around, not have to worry about having a seven pound, eight pound mat like Lululemon and Manduka. Those mats can weigh upwards of seven to nine pounds. This is two and a half pounds, super lightweight, easy to carry. Second piece, it dries really fast. Since it's cork, it dries rather quickly. It does absorb the water, and you actually wanna spray it with a little bit of water, kinda of like you do with a mat towel, to be able to use it. Um, but then it dries, I hang it up, it's dried within a couple hours. The antimicrobial bacterial piece of it seems to be pretty nice. They say that it doesn't have a smell, it's self-cleaning, but I think it's still kinda of Smells a little bit after a lot of use. Um, one challenge is that it starts to break apart. You can see it right here, the cork is falling off. Little pieces where you can see the rubber and the, the mesh that's underneath it because the cork has been falling off. I've been using this for a little over a year now, but so far it's held up pretty well. I love that it dries quickly. It's, it's perfect for hot yoga because when it gets wet, it's not as slippery. It's started to kind of lose its anti-slip when wet ability but it's still pretty powerful. This is my favorite mat hands down when I do hot yoga. If you do sweat like puddles, you still need to pick up the water because it doesn't absorb the water, it kind of just sits on top. So I'll pick up the water, but other than that, it's still moist and wet and it grips my hands very well. I also love that it looks different. It's like a wooden looking mat because of cork 
and it just stands out when you take it to a yoga class. And who doesn't like to be a little bit different? Or I highly recommend Quark yoga mats. I think there are different models as well. This one's kind of light, so it does have a little bit of curves at the end, and you're supposed to lay it flat to kind of get rid of those, but there are heavier Quark yoga mats, and I'm not sure how they all perform. But in terms of when it gets wet, this is the best material that I've experienced. I have Lululemon mats, I have Manduka mats, and Manduka, I have to use a mat towel. Lululemon, less often, but still have to use a mat towel sometimes because I'm a guy, Middle Eastern guy who sweats a lot, so I need that. And this is great if you sweat a lot. I think for females, you can probably stick with Lululemon, the rubber's great. Or non-hot yoga classes, then use a classic rubbery mat. Another piece is no yoga mat towel. That's one less piece of laundry I have to do. It's one less thing to carry, and it's one less thing to be moving around on your mat. So I really love just having the mat when I practice hot yoga and not having to worry about the mat towel moving and I'm down dog and then I gotta shuffle my feet around to get the mat to get back to the four corners and all that jazz. So it's perfect for that because it's just one less thing that moves around and the rubbery bottom with the treads sticks pretty well to the floor. Some things I wish, it was a little bit heavier. I do love that it's light, but then again, it doesn't stick to the floor very well. The ends curve up a little bit and I wish the strap was a little bit longer. Some things that they mentioned on their website is that it's super environmentally friendly. Uh, when you harvest cork, the cork grows back. You're just doing the cork bark. You're not actually cutting down trees. So that obviously great for the environment. It helps with CO2 absorption. And they say that it doesn't absorb dust. It's fire resistant in its natural form, cork is. But this has something on the bottom, which I think is rubber. Not sure how fire resistant. They say on their website that one study showed 100% of Staphylococcus aurelis bacteria was gone after 90 minutes of incubation of being on cork. This is a mat made of cork and other materials, so I'm not sure if you can directly apply that statistic to this mat. But I think that says something in itself for the potential for it to be more antibacterial than the other materials in other mats. It has some substance that repels insects. Not sure if you're gonna have insects on your uh, mat, yoga mat. It's all natural. The cork part at least, not sure about the bottom piece. No toxins like some other yoga mat. And they say that you can repair it if it's damaged and give it a new look. So the biggest thing is you don't have to use chemical sprays. They say just wipe it down after a sweaty practice and allow it to dry before rolling. Um, change the direction of the roll each time and then lay it flat when you first receive it to get that flatness. Maybe I didn't do that and that's why it's still a little curved. But other than that, I love this yoga mat, it's great. There are other Quark yoga companies, so go check them out too. But I did link this one in the description below. I'm pretty sure it's a referral link. I'll, I'll get some bonus points and I can buy another mat because this one's getting kind of old or buy some Quark blocks. So support your guy, check it out. Keep practicing hot yoga. This is a great mat, especially if you're a dude. If you're a girl watching this video and you wanna buy your boy a yoga mat, this is the way to go. I got mine for I think 55 bucks. Uh, it was $50 off on some special promotion and I think the total price is usually $100. It's called the Cork Yoga Mat The Robin. I think they have a newer model now that's a little bit heavier, so check that one out maybe. They heavily targeted me on Instagram, so I ended up buying the mat off the Instagram story ads, and so far I've actually liked it. In their ads, they have the Cork Yoga Mat in the ocean, and the waves are going over and someone's hands are on it. I don't know if they're standing or if they're in down dog or what it is, but their hands aren't moving, and that appeal of it being wet and no slip, that was the biggest value benefit that I got. And then I also learned that it's quick drying, which is very helpful, and that it's potentially antibacterial, antimicrobial, which was also a big value. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Get yourself a cork yoga mat, try it out, see what it's like, perfect for hot yoga. I'll see you in the next video, peace. What's that? Great for hot yoga. Okay.